Hello children, welcome to today's digital class. Today I am going to deal with English grammar topic articles. Yes children, I think you all know what are articles. When I say articles, you say that a, an and the are articles. Yes, you are right. Articles are classified into two types, definite articles and indefinite articles. A and an are indefinite articles. The is the definite article. So today we will see about indefinite articles. A and are indefinite articles. For example, a book, an umbrella. When we don't know which book it is, we can say a book. When we don't know which umbrella it is, we can use either a or an. Such type of articles are called as indefinite articles. Indefinite articles the, the book, the umbrella. If we know which book it is, we should use the, the book. In such cases, we should use the. These articles are called as definite articles. So, in this video, I am going to tell you about indefinite articles. There are some rules in using these indefinite articles. So, we will see what are the rules. First rule is sounds. In definite articles, A and AN. AN is used before vowel sounds. Children, you all must be knowing what are vowels. There are five vowels. Yes, you are right. A, E, I, O, U are vowels. So, you all know that AN is used before vowels. You are right, but not only vowels. We have to look for vowel sound also. Whenever there is vowel and also vowel sound, then only we should use an. What are these vowel sounds? Vowel sounds are from a to aha. You can see here in Telugu a a i i u u ru a a i o o au am ha. These are vowel sounds. So, whenever you get these vowel sounds, we should use an. So, when to use a? A is used before consonant sounds. Consonant sounds are from ka to bandira. So, here I have given you some examples. Look here. An. First one. An apple. An apple. Look at the first letter in the word. Apple. A. A is the vowel. What about the sound? It is a vowel sound. An apple. A. A. A is a vowel sound. So we can use an. Next one. An elephant. E is a vowel. What about the vowel sound? A. A is a vowel sound. It comes between a to aha. So we have to use an. An ink pot, first letter of the word E. So it is a vowel sound, there is a vowel and also vowel sound. So we have to use an. Next one, an umbrella, a, a umbrella. A is the vowel sound, so use an. An orange, a orange. So there is a vowel sound, a, so use an. An MLA, there is a vowel sound, a, so use an. An R. Here H is silent. It is R. R. So there is vowel sound here. So you have to use an. An ice cream. Here also there is a vowel sound I. So you have to use an. An owl. First letter ow. So there is a vowel sound. So use ow. An. An air. So there is a vowel sound. So you have to use an. An honest man. H is silent. A. Ah. So there is a vowel sound. So use an. An eagle. There is a vowel sound. E. So use an. 
Next one, when to use A. I already told you, A is used before consonant sounds. That is from K to Bandira. A car. See the first letter of the word, K. A K. Car. K. So, first letter is a consonant sound. So, use A. Whenever the starting letter of the word gives vowel sound, we should use an. Whenever the starting letter of the word gives the consonant sound, we should use A. You should remember these two things. A gun. G. Which sound is that? Is it a vowel sound or consonant sound, children? It is a consonant sound. So, you use A. A tub. T. A year. Y. A unit. Y. A union. Y. Here you can see a unit. There is a vowel, isn't it? U is a vowel. But why am I using a there? Because not only vowel, I told you, you should also see the vowel sound also. What about the sound? Which sound you are getting? We are getting the sound of a consonant, not a vowel. Ya. Yeah. Ya is the consonant sound. So we should use a instead of an. A young man. Ya. Yeah. A book, b. A pen, p. A man, m. A rat, r. All these are the consonant sounds. A lion, l. A uniform, y. Here also you can see a uniform, y. U is the vowel. But we are not getting the vowel sound. We are getting the consonant sound. So we have to use a. A European, a university. Here also these are vowels. Starting letter is the vowel, but we are not getting the vowel sounds. So that's why we are using A here. A one rupee note, A useful thing. Here also, these are vowels. O is a vowel, U is a vowel, but we are not getting the vowel sounds. We are getting the consonant sounds, V, Y. That's why we are using A instead of AN. A hotel, H. A horse, H. A historical building. Huh. Then second rule. We have to use indefinite article before occupations or professions or characters. He is a doctor. She is a teacher. Here the doctor, the which sound we are getting? Consonant sound. So use a. A teacher. Ramo is an engineer. E engineer. We are getting the vowel sound and vowel. So, we are using an. Madhu is a lawyer. Third rule. For meanings of per or each or every. The apples cost rupees 50 a kilo. A kilo means per kilo, per kilo. When we say per kilo, we are telling a. He comes home once a year. One year, for one year. Every year. So, we are saying a year. She takes tea twice a day, per day. He can run at 50 kilometers an hour. So here H is silent, an hour. Fourth rule for meaning of one also we use indefinite article A. He bought a pen. How many pens? One pen. He bought a pen, one pen. So you use A. I saw a pencil on the table. How many pencils? One pencil. Fifth rule for meaning of any, any number. Please get me a paper. Get me a paper means any paper. You can take a notebook from the Almara. You can take a notebook. Any notebook. Sixth rule. Before proper nouns, names of persons indicating that they are strangers. A Rama Rao has come daddy. Here in front of the names we should never use any article. But when we don't know who is that person and when we know that he is a stranger you can use A. Here A Rama Rao has come daddy. This person Rama Rao is not known to the speaker. We don't know who is that person. So that's why children here we can use A. A Krishna made this. Why we are using A here children? Because a person Krishna is not known, not known to the speaker. We don't know who is that person. So that's why we are saying A Krishna. 
another rule with what in exclamatory sentences children you do you know what is exclamatory sentence here you can see there is exclamatory mark it is a punctuation mark it is used in strong feelings or high volume for example what a big school it is so i am using a strong feeling here so in such cases also you have to use indefinite article a what a beautiful building it is what a nice man he is so i am using a strong feeling so when there is an exclamatory mark you have to use a before that in such sentences you have to use a another rule if we mention for the first time also we have to use a i saw a tiger for example i saw a tiger he gave me a pen tiger and pen are mentioned for the first time here in such cases you have to use a when i am using for the second time i should use the instead of a for example i saw a tiger the tiger which i saw yesterday was kept in the zoo i'm telling the tiger which i saw yesterday why i'm telling the here because i'm using it for the second time when i'm using it for the first time i used a before the tiger but when i'm using it for the second time i'm using the before the tiger hope you all understood children so for the first time when we are using you should use a when you are using for the second time you should use the another rule before proper nouns names to me like the person concerned for example he is a sachin he is like sachin in batting he is a sachin we are using why we are telling a sachin because that means he is like sachin he is not sachin but he is like sachin in batting for that we are saying he is a sachin another example she is an indira gandhi that means she is not indira gandhi but she is like indira gandhi in courage so in, in such cases you can use indefinite article a or an another rule we can use indefinite article in some fixed expressions what are they these are some of the expressions where we can use indefinite articles a couple of a great deal of a lot of make a noise in a hurry a headache a pain a cold a pity a shame a fever a low voice etc in all such kind of expressions we can use a another rule before few and little to mean some i have for example i have a few books a few books means what some books when i have some books i should say i have a few books there is a little water in the bottles when there is some water you should say a little water when we don't use this indefinite article it gives a negative meaning for example if i say i have few books what does it mean it means that i don't have any books there is little water in the bottle when when i don't use any indefinite article there is little water in the bottle what does it say it says that there is no water so usage of this indefinite article is very important in this case when you say a few books that means there are some books when you say a little water that that means there is some water another rule to represent a whole class in general sense for example a cow is a domestic animal here a cow means it represents all cows not one cow all cows a dog is a faithful animal it means all dogs you cannot say the cow a cow is a domestic animal a dog is a faithful animal another one 
before most which has the meaning of very for example he was a most handsome man here a most means very handsome when it comes the meaning of very we can use most it is the most beautiful sight means very beautiful it is the most remarkable event very remarkable a most so in such cases you have to use a another rule after word half or quarter also you should use a half an hour head silent so you are using an hour half a dozen half a mile quarter of an hour another another rule after word such also you have to use a such a girl after word such you have to use a such a girl such a beautiful cycle such a person such a thing children i hope all of you must have understood way to use indefinite articles a and an now let us go to the assignment so go through the assignment and do this assignment today's assignment i have dash one rupee coin he is dash kalidas what dash beautiful house i bought them at rupees 40 dash kilo dash thomas is waiting for you she is such dash clever girl that everybody likes her it took me half dash r she is dash accountant he is dash university student children if you have any problem doing this assignment go back to the rules that i told you and answer i hope you enjoyed the class children thank you stay home stay safe